Hey guys, so in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create a discussion board um, that you can put in either as something optional for students or one that is required with a due date and is graded um, and then the grade is automatically put into your grade book on Moodle. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so the first thing we are going to do is open whatever Moodle course you would like um, to do this in. So I'm just going to do one in the preparing for teaching online. <clears throat> Go to uh, the topic that you would like to add the discussion board to and you're going to click on create learning activity. So we have two options here. We have forum or open forum. Um, this one is good just for a general one. Um, this one gives you more grading capability so I like going to the open forum. So I'm going to click on that. And now we sort of have everything that we need to fill out and the options to check. So um, you're going to give it a title, um, describe the activity. Um, you can always click display description on course page. I sort of like to do that. Um, also display recent posts on course page. That's something you can toggle on and off however way you like. Um, if you want to require students to post at least one discussion, you can do that. So each person posts one discussion. You can also do a Q&A form where um, one person has to post a question and, and answer someone else's question. Um, I'm just going to do each person posts one discussion. Now on this side is where we get sort of our other options. We can do post options. Um, we can, if you have a certain word count limit you want students to reach, you can say display word count so they can get an idea of how many words they are at. Um, if students need to upload an attachment, um, you can play around with the size of the attachment that you want to limit and then how many number of attachments they're allowed to have on a given post. Um, so for example, my students are doing um, activities in their workbooks. So to demonstrate that they completed the activity, they're going to take a picture with their cell phone and then upload the picture of um, the workbook activity completed onto the discussion board. That way I can see um, A, what sort of their answers are, what are they struggling with, and then that it keeps them accountable to keep doing the work. So just one idea of how you can use a forum. Um, they can talk you can toggle um, whether or not they want to subscribe to their post so if somebody responds to their post it automatically sends them an email they can toggle that on and off you can um, keep it forced or not <coughs> um, leave it optional um, the other thing that's important is the grade um, so if you want this graded you can do a manual or rating. Um, a rating is basically you can give it one or two or three stars and that's associated with some sort of points. Um, I think most of us would probably stick with a manual grade. Um, we can do a point or a scale. Um, maybe the discussion is 10 points. <clears throat> Um, you can do simple direct grading, checklist grading, marking guide, or a rubric. I think the simple direct grading is sort of the most straightforward. Um, it's going to sort of give you um, the easiest way to just grade a low stakes sort of formative assessment. Did they complete it or not? Um, if you had a category um, already set up, um, in your gradebook, you could then select the category. So maybe you created a category in your gradebook called discussions, and then you could click that. Otherwise, you can just leave it uncategorized. Um, one thing you also may want to do is restrict access. So maybe you want a due date. Um, so the way you're going to do that is go to restrict access and do add restriction. Um, and then um, activity completion, so require students to complete or not complete another activity. So maybe they got to do something ahead of this or after this. Um, but the most common one we'll use is the date. So you want them to turn this in by a certain date. So the student has until uh, maybe the 20th, right, at a certain time. Um, once you have that, you can add another restriction if you want the discussion window to be open from a certain time until a certain time or um, some other restriction that you would like to add. Um, 
Everything else I think is a little more complex. You're welcome to play around with it and see if there's if this is not doing what you need it to do. Um, we can obviously um, you know schedule one of those one-on-one -on -one individual meetings um, that are going to be later on this week, um, or email us to let us know um, that you'd like to see something a little bit different for your own class. All right, so now I'm going to do save and display. <clears throat> Um, and this is what it looks like. So when the student goes in, they can add their discussion, right? Um, they can choose their files that they want to upload, and then they can submit. <clears throat> they also have some advanced editor and additional options um, that students can utilize um, as they continue working on this discussion. Okay. This should also show up now in their um, upcoming due dates when they go onto their landing page on Moodle. So it will remind them. And then because it has this little lock that says it's going to lock them out um, until a certain time. So available until the end of the 19th of March, 2020. If you go to your grade book, you should also now see this because we did this for a grade. Um, you should now also see this in the grade book um, under sort of uncategorized right here discuss this okay all right like I said again um, that's a great way to create a graded discussion um, you could do the exact same thing for an ungraded discussion and just not put anything into that grade criteria um, and that would probably do the exact same thing for you guys all right again if you have any questions let us know um, we'll see you in the next video.